At this point, are you surprised you're not fighting for the title belt right now? Not anymore, you know, I was, of course, uh, but once we signed the fight, I just focus on the fight, you know, I focus in the task that I have ahead, which is pretty tough, so, you know, I cannot focus on anything else. Tell us about this fight coming up with Masvidal, very dangerous on the feet. He says he's well-rounded, he can hang with you on the ground, uh, but you've also gotten better on your feet, too. Uh, tell us how you see this game playing out with Jorge. Yeah, in this level, everybody's well rounded. You know, I am, he is around. So it's 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 always a surprise how a surprise how the fight is, is gonna develop. You know, it just I just will will see that during the fight because we really don't know our opponent till we get inside the cage. So. I hope it plays in my way, of course, and you know, I hope I'm able to submit him on Saturday. Now, you've kind of had a resurgence, kind of, I, I don't know if reinvent is the right word, but you've come back with the way you've taken your jiu-jitsu and you've modified it to specifically, specifically for MMA, and it's been so successful. I mean, tell us about this change in, Resurgence. Yeah, I think once I decide to drop to on seventh, and you know, I I, I pick up my manager and he start to my I, I ask my manager to be my head coach and he helped to change everything. I reinvent myself and try to come back to my roots with this jiu jitsu. And since we came back, you know, I start to study a lot and try to develop techniques that were worth from the sport jiu-jitsu to MMA, which is a new sport. So I think I learned a lot in the last years and I develop a lot by myself, by studying and, and asking myself uh, how I could do better. And, and so, you know, I develop a kind of different game, you know, a different jiu-jitsu for MMA. So after this fight, some say that, you know, the winner of this fight should get the, the title shot with Woodley. Do you fully expect uh, the winner of this fight gets, gets that? I hope so, you know, but they say to me since like three fights ago or four fights ago that I supposed to fight for a title. So my goal is to go there Saturday and win this fight. That's it. So it sounds like you've gotten past the disappointment of not getting the title shot by now. So is, is your viewpoint you just you just fight? and that's all you can control? Yeah, like you said, it's all I can control, you know, and what I learned with the experience is that uh, I gotta be grateful for what I have in my life, you know, I do what I love and I make my living with that. I'm the number one Bra Brazilian with most wins in the UFC. I fought for the title before. I think I'm number three in the world of most wins in the UFC. And I keep fighting almost 10 years in the UFC, which is very hard because you know, the level is so. So I have students affiliate academy. So I, I have everything that I always ask for. I travel, which I love, you know, with my work and, and make a good living and raise my kids. So I have everything, I, I cannot complain. And of course, I want to fight for the title, but I, I, that's, I don't, I don't want to put that like the most important f thing in my life. I just want to relax and do what I love. Do you, when you look back 10 years ago when you started this, did you think that you would be here still, be here where you're at now, at the, at the top of your game? You know, I think one of my secrets is never think too much about the future, you know? I just let the thing think things keep going, you know, because if I never was like, okay, I will fight for so many years and I'm going to stop and I will do this and that, you know, I just keep going, so I think it keep my mind not limited and keep my mind open and that it helps.